Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is all going to be about my iPhone. What's on my iPhone? What apps do I use all the time? Along with towards the end of the video, it will be on how I edit my Instagram photos. You guys have been asking for that ever since I like updated my Instagram. You guys are liking the neutral tones. So I will show you how I do that towards the end of the video. But anyways, let's get straight into it. So starting with my home screen, I like to keep things very simple, neutral tone, a little quote. I did make this background myself. The quote is from Google though. So moving on to the phone, the whole entire phone part. Again, neutral, simple, organized. That's usually what I go for. Let's start with the bottom bar. It's usually my main essentials, which is the phone, the text in, Spotify. I always update my Spotify account, you guys. Um, mostly I have a lot of throwbacks, but the other playlists are packed with music as well. And I do have my Spotify link down below. So if you guys want to follow me, it's there. But that's like my main app. I would say that's more of my main app than text then. Of course, I have Safari. Who doesn't on the bottom? We, we all search things nowadays. Um, moving on to the only four folders I have for apps. Now, I have the letters spaced out. So you guys are going to ask probably like, how did I do that? Just like what I said, I spaced them out when I was editing the, um, like when you hold down the folder, you can edit the name. You just space out the name. It's super simple. So moving on to the first folder, um, I have the YouTube app, Pinterest, Weeble, Netflix, Hulu, and Instagram. Weeble is like kind of down right now. Um, obviously, you guys know what's going on in the world, so the stock market is not the best. So I haven't been going in there as much. But when the stock market goes back up, I will be getting a few more stocks. When it comes to Netflix, my whole Netflix account is horror. If you guys do not know me by now, I love horror. I mean, I can't go a day without watching something scary. So of course, I have a lot of horror. And these are the things that I have been watching. Um, the Order, I did finish that show. Good Witch, that's not horror, but it's still a good show. Um, Don't Knock Twice was a good movie. And these are just all the things that I was watching. So give you a little sneak peek of that. As for Hulu, the only difference with Hulu is it is hard to find decent movies. But I will give you guys a little, a little recommendation when it came to the movie that I was watching. So obviously I do watch Ghost Whisper. That's really old. If you do not know what that show is, check it out. She talks to ghosts, obviously. Um, it is fake, but it's a good show blackish but i want to mention this show the unsettling that was actually a really good show it's horror kind of um but decent ending and it doesn't leave you on a cliffhanger so that's what i like and of course the last app that i have in my social folder is instagram i mean who doesn't have instagram nowadays if you guys want to follow me on instagram i will always have it linked down below as well but on here i really like to just talk to you guys i am going to do a little bit more editing on my instagram maybe add a little bit of story highlights update that i used to have a lot of story highlights but now I want to do things a little different, so stay tuned for how my Instagram will be looking in the next couple of months. Moving on to the edit folder now. When it comes to my edit folder, I have a lot, a lot of apps because I use my phone to edit every picture, um, thumbnails, Instagram, so this is kind of like what I use for business. So I have the YouTube Studio app that it lets me or allows me to put my thumbnails on my videos which is super easy and it's so convenient instead of me just going onto my desktop. Um, Visco, Visco is an app that I actually pay for and it is an editing app. I will show you guys how to use all these apps towards the end of the video. Facetune, I'm sure you guys already know about that. I like Facetune because you can blur out the background in images. So that's kind of like why I got it. Um, not much of like blurring out like things on me because I don't know I'm just not into that but like definitely highlighting things in the background facetune is good for that um, my camera connect Canon app that allows me to um, put files from my Canon camera to my phone so it's a Bluetooth camera so that app is really handy especially when I'm doing thumbnails PixArt that is an, another awesome app that app I use mostly to add like little images into my pictures and stuff. So 
I keep that in handy just in case. The next app is Word Swag. This is an app that I do pay for as well. Same thing as Visco and Facetune. These are the apps I pay for. Word Swag is my go-to app when it comes to adding text to images. So whatever you have on here, like if you guys can actually see examples right now, um, you can add any kind of text to an image and it does not come out blurry, blotchy, glitchy looking. I really like this app. I believe it's like $5 a month. I tried PicMonkey and I hated it. Um, I could not figure out how to use it. I looked up tutorials. I had it for like two months and I gave up. So word swag is just easier for me and with PicMonkey you still have to pay for that service as well So I rather pay for a service that I actually like. Uh, next app is retouch This is another app you can purchase and this app is so cool I'm gonna show you what it does. So I believe it was like three dollars quote me if I'm wrong um, I will just show you how things are with this app. So this is a picture that I took. Excuse the date. I don't know why it's showing July because we are not in July. So what you want to do is you want to zoom in as much as you can. You go to quick repair, like the little band-aid on the bottom, and you can actually delete little things that are in your photos. So I can delete this whole, like all of these little images in here and see how it messes up you gotta make sure you get like really really close to it so it doesn't mess up um so you guys can actually see the outcome this is actually one of the apps that's addicting i always tell my sisters send me little pictures that you guys want things gone in the background because i get a kick out of this now how it looks is you do the before and the after before and after it is such an awesome app and it's worth it um, so check it out if you guys like to have your pictures like perfect and you can actually delete like people in the background um, you just have to make sure you like zoom in and be like precise because if you don't zoom in this is what happens that's what happens so say if you want to like remove this leaf see how like your phone extended out so that's a little app that i am encouraging you guys to get if you like photography next app is pixels now this app i use for thumbnails when i'm in a pinch so when i have no idea like what kind of thumbnail to do i can go in here and you can use all of these images for thumbnails um the thing with this app is that it's all free so no copy it's non-copyrighted you can use any image you want on any platform YouTube Squarespace like any little freelance or whatever you have got going on you can use any of these images I usually search the um, minimalist I know I'm spelling it wrong <laughs> I usually search the minimalist section so you guys know that like some of these images are from my videos um, not only like I don't know if you can do it with this app but on the desktop version you can actually use videos from this app so that's what i use too for b-rolls when i'm in a pinch so it's a really good app and it's free the next app that i have or the last app is the self-employed quickbooks i'm not going to go into there because all my personal information is in there but if you are self-employed quickbooks is the way to go it keeps like all your receipts everything you spent on your business in there so when tax season comes you know like what you're doing you have all your stuff like the irs is not going to come after you because you have proof all on that app so it keeps things really neat and with me doing youtube full-time i have to pay attention to my taxes because this tax um year was a little bit tricky for me it i was supposed to owe like around i want to say like it was like eight thousand dollars to um the irs but i got it down to like two thousand because i did have receipts like lying around in a folder but the minute i did my taxes on TurboTax. They gave me QuickBooks for free because they seen that I was self-employed. So I know a little bit of a tax or finance situation going on here, but if you are looking for a decent like self-employed organizer, get QuickBooks. It's, it's so worth it. Moving on to the money app, I have all of my bills in here. So when it comes to money, I like to keep it all in one folder. Anything when it comes to money, not just bills, but also like money coming in. So I have my two insurances. I have my car insurance, my health insurance, AdSense. That is an app where um, YouTube pays me. So we get paid once a month. And when I go into that app, that just shows like what I'm going to be getting paid for the month. So I keep that in there just to like keep track of what I'm getting paid from them. 
um, Chase, my Chase credit card, my credit com. I'm always checking my credit score. My credit score right now is stuck at like 745. I'm trying so hard to get it to 800, but we will see. Cash app, I mean, Cash App is awesome, especially now that my boyfriend and I live here. We do split bills, so sometimes we like send each other money. Um, I send my sister sometimes money, things like that on there. Cash App is so much better than Venmo. I feel like Venmo is more of like the Facebook of sending money. So Cash App's better. You don't have to like announce what you spent your money on. Um, I have my bank, uh, Eversource, that is our electricity. In Massachusetts, it's Eversource. Uh, electricity and gas that's how we pay it through the app and then we have Ibotta so Ibotta is such an awesome app this is not sponsored um, I just really like this app so when it comes to Ibotta I'll show you my account I cannot I don't know if I can actually link my account down below I don't I don't think we can but I'll try if, if, I, if I was able to it'll be linked down below if I'm not able to then it won't be there but um with Ibotta Whenever you purchase like, I want to say like groceries or anything from the store, save the receipt and you could take a picture of it and it will give you cash back. I do have $12 in here. It has to reach 20 You know, that's the threshold to put your money in the bank. And you can always find deals and stuff on here. Hence, there's an ad right there for Uber Eats. <laughs> Not only do I get cash back with purchasing things with my credit card, but I also get cash back on groceries with this. So it's a win-win situation and I really like it. So that is it for the money folder. Now let's move on to other. Folder that I'm like unsure on where to actually put these apps. <laughs> the miscellaneous ones. So of course I have my photos and in my photos I will just show you guys what I have. Like this is what I have for photos. By the way, I did take a picture of this the other day. This is my floor steamer. I will be talking about it in an upcoming like awesome cleaning product you can purchase. This is the best floor cleaner I've ever had. Hence, look how dirty our floors are. Well, were. And then look how clean they are. So yeah, that's why that picture's in there. I know you guys are probably gonna spot it out. But most of these pictures are just little ideas for like Instagram or like um, thumbnails. <laughs> this is where all of them are. I have no pictures of myself or my family in here. Just strictly business, basically. Um, obviously I have Google Drive to save some space. I have some pictures in there of my family. So when I do take them, I put them in there. Uh, obviously I have Amazon. You guys know I really like that app. And most of my stuff I get is from there because it's just so convenient. I have my clock in here, settings, ways. Best GPS I've ever used. Um, it tells you where the cops are if you like aren't doing the speed limit. You know when you're doing like this so the speed limit on the highway here is 60 and if you're doing like 63 they'll give you a ticket. So I always keep that on just to make sure they're not around because sometimes I forget that I'm doing like 64 and the speed limit 60 because I don't want a ticket. Um, I only got one ticket in my life and that was because I went through a yellow light and that was a hundred dollar ticket. So. I don't want any more of those. Um, I got that when I was like 19. Silly, silly me. I should have stopped at the yellow light. But anyways, Waze is such a good GPS app. It gives you different routes if it's traffic. It's, it's awesome, you guys. I have the weather app, mail. And for this, this side over here, this is something I do not use. None of these apps I use. Well, except for the app store. Um, but the camera, I never go like literally in here to like press the camera. I just press the camera like over here. Um, but that just stays there because you're not allowed to delete any of these apps. I have the calculator, the health, the wallet, like the Apple wallet, Apple Pay. I don't have it set up. I really should though because it's so much easier. So maybe I will do that today. Um, and I also have my find my iPhone or find my AirPods in case someone steals it or you misplace it. So that's like everything on my phone. Now let's get into how I edit my pictures. It's pretty simple. I did just take a picture for you guys to edit to show you how I do this. So I go into Visco. The first thing that I do is I import my photo. So this is the photo that I just took. I'm actually probably going to post this one on Instagram. So I go to edit and I don't choose any of the filters. I'm just not a fan of some of them. But I like to go through these like two little dots over here or lines. I go to exposure and I bring the lighting down so you guys can see. So it's just not too like harsh. I press the check mark and then I continue with all of the other little folders. Like contrast, you can bring that down or up. 
I like it like at least like negative 1.2. Um, I feel like it looks a little bit more natural. Um, sharpen, I like to bring it maybe to like 1.4. Clarity, again, I don't like it too much because like you guys can see it looks like a cartoon. So I bring it to like maybe like 8. As for like the tones and stuff, I don't use any of these because it looks very fakish. So those I don't use. And the same thing for like the skin tone, it only changes like the floor. So I don't use any of those either. But what I do use is the grain it, the grain. So see how it makes it like very grainy looking. I always put like 1.9. Saturation, this is, this is my favorite part, is the saturation. So you can either bring it up and it looks very saturated or you can bring it down. So I've been bringing it down and I love how it looks. So you have before, and then you have after. The next thing that I do is I press next, I save it, close out of that, I go into my photos, this is so I don't get confused, I delete the original, and then I go into retouch, and I am going to repair a couple things here. So I'm going to delete this bar because I do not like how it looks here. Again, this can be, this can be really tricky, so that's why I'm like, ah. Never really done this on camera before. Trying to get some of the spots off the floor. I know, I know, some people are not a fan of making their pictures look perfect, but I'm just, I'm just into it right now. I, I really like editing pictures. Another thing that I want to make disappear is this Canon logo. And get that out of here. Um, I think that's about it. Everything else looks fine. It's how I like it. Um, again. If you are a true perfectionist, you can actually get the wrinkles out with this app. So I'll just show you, like if you guys actually see, you can get the wrinkles out. And that I'm just really not into. Like I don't mind wrinkles on my bed because I feel like it adds character. <laughs> Let me show you the before and after. So before, after, I just got rid of like two things. And then I save as copy, get out of that app, go back into photos delete the original that's the thing it makes copies so i always delete the original so i do not get confused so now that the photo is all done i'll show you guys how it looks that's the photo all done now if you want to add text to a photo i'm going to show you how to do that obviously i wouldn't want to add text to this photo because it is for instagram but i'm going to use it as an example you can just go into word swag for now you could choose the size they actually have sizes down below where it's like um, Facebook cover, Instagram portrait, um, like I use the YouTube one down there because that's for thumbnails. I'm not using that right now so we're gonna go into here and this is how I do my thumbnails you guys. Um, you can just add in a nice quote. What should I put for you guys? I will add in my favorite quote. So this too shall pass. <laughs> You can have different ways you want it. You can make it bigger, put it on the side. All these little different fonts that are in here. Um, you can get rid of like the little lines there. I like to make my fonts smaller than the actual picture. So if I was posting it like this, I would just probably leave it like that. You can actually use one of these and you can make it blend into the photo. Um, change, you can change the color to it. The only thing with this app is you do have to pay for it. So keep that in mind when you are in this app or when you look up this app, you have to pay for it. I usually go for like this one, like the classic because it looks very modern. Um, and do not forget, you can also add spaces. So I will do this for you guys. You can add spaces to your name, which makes it even look more modern and I think like quotes look better when they are smaller than the actual picture so that is that we'll get out of there because I'm not going to save it and that's basically how I edit all of my photos anyways you guys I really hoped you enjoyed this video and if you are wondering like all the apps that I had if you can't like instead of like pausing the video and stuff I'll have all of my favorite apps like listed down below i know i can't link them but i'll have them listed down below so you guys can actually check them out for yourself but anyways i hope you enjoyed and i will catch you in the next video